Corey's got a motor. You know, we talk about the motor term in basketball all the time. He's got a motor in practice. He's got a motor in games like I've never been around. Never. Um, the way he practices, the way he plays, if you're not on your, his level, you're going to get run over. Eight feet won't go. Brown gets the rebound. The right hand puts back to The key and comes to Corey Brown driving down the lane. The right hand layup. Boom! And how Brown snatches the rebound. Brown coast to coast from left to right to the double team and lays it. Dexter Werner skips it to Brown, a quick first down the left, baseline, and a one-hand throwdown! Right in the face of Terrell DeRoy! Shot on half, half court offense. Brown leans in and gets it to go. Brown is luck again, the big man already had one of those. Corey Brown in the right spot at the right time again. Coming into the rim. Jacobson off the screen, can't hit another offensive rebound and another putback. And Corey Brown just picked up his 10th rebound, Greg. He's into double figures in both categories. A double-double already here in this first half. He's took that one point to go before the break. Scores again. That sets up a big game Saturday in Omaha as the Mavs post Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne is actually a very, very good team this year as well. Both them and Omaha, Omaha a little bit of a surprise. Fort Wayne not so much. Brown with a shot block wide. Uh, it wasn't been a foul on the phone. He was in good position. Now Brown comes back, makes up for it, jumps the pass, and throws it down at the other end. Corey. Trying to take North Dakota State out of the rhythm offensively.
on the field to get started. Good ball up here by North Dakota State. And they're going to show a lot of patience. They're looking to attack this match right there. Brown able to get it. Hitting with the shot clock. And one as Corey Brown gets it off on the feet. Ellis now on down as well.